I, I, Dr. You're all invited to come home with me tonight after the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dr. Phil is doing the rounds for his new book, and he went on Bill Maher's show Friday, and things got interesting pretty quick. Take a look. Uh, when I first started in 2002 with Dr. Phil... Um, you are Dr. Phil. Well, I'm... <laughs> I just... I just started to say... Um, that was a softball. I'm glad you hit it. Uh, uh, With a nose like that, how could he miss? I'm, I'm not talking about myself in the third person. I I'm see. talking about the platform. Uh, I get it. All right. Try to keep up. All right, sorry. Uh, uh, I, no. Looks like Bill Maher can dish out the jokes, but he can't take them. Dr. Phil mixing it up with a pro comic and holding his own. Let's see what happens next. People are becoming really socially conscious and sensitive about narratives that are being pushed on them right now. Words you can't use, words you have to use. And I'm not just talking about pronouns and stuff. I'm talking about even the Justice Department doesn't want to call a felon a felon anymore. They want to call them justice-involved people. Uh, so <laughs> you're, you're fair. I love the idiots in the audience laughing at the absurdity of this, and they will immediately leave the studio and vote Democrat in every election and wonder why the world is on fire. Family member, your family member wasn't murdered. They intersected with a justice-involved person. I, I, I smell a stand-up special for you. And, and, and I, I will... Bill intently listening the whole time to get a revenge laugh on Dr. Phil. He's coming off his very thin-skinned. Wokeness, which started out as a great thing, alert to injustice, all down for that, and it morphed into something else. Yeah, and weaponized. Now, and now it's where common sense goes to die. Right. And so the same idiots who were cheering Dr. Phil making fun of woke language are now upset that Bill Maher says wokeness is where common sense goes to die? These left-wing morons can't even connect the dots of their own insanity. Next, they tackled the unmentionable most deadly virus not to be mentioned on YouTube and got into it again. Did it, though? Did we elect the people that shut the schools down or were they yes. appointed? Yes. Of course we did. No, we didn't. Well, we didn't elect Trump and Biden? Because we, we didn't elect the people that made the decision to shut down the schools. Well, they could have been overruled by Trump and Biden. But they weren't. Okay, but that's still politics. Well, if your aunt had nuts, she'd be your uncle. That's a big if. <laughs> Dr. Phil is carving this dude up. Classic. What do you mean when you say, let men be men? I saw that, read that. Uh, what, what did you do, pick a phrase and then go 50 pages and pick another phrase? <laughs> <laughs> did, I think no, I just got it, my no, answer. No, no. It, An entertaining interview with a good amount of insults. Who got the best, Dr. Phil or Bill Maher? Let me know.